coming up, Springdale School's teachers dedicate their lives to their students every day, but see how teachers react when we surprise them with a thank you. Plus, Bulldog TV covers a special story on a senior that is shaping her way to be a master in the art field. And we're going to take a look at a junior high student who traveled across the world to play piano. All that and more on this episode of Springdale Today. Hello everyone and welcome to Springdale Today. I'm Diego Escobar. And I'm Carter Hale. Today is Monday, September 25th, 2017. Our top story today is one that will surely leave your nose running and your eyes watery. The difference between a good school district and a great district is the teachers. And in Springdale, we have some of the most caring teachers. At the end of last year, the students surprised teachers with written letters right here in our studio saying thank you for everything they do. Let's take a look. I think connecting to kids is important because um, in order for them to learn from you, they have to like you. That's why I go to school. It's the relationship and it's the way I learn. I like showing up every day and just it's part of my family. We get together, we put together a plan and we just go to work. Once the kids realize it's not a, not a me viewpoint, but a we viewpoint, they're more likely to help one another, more likely to look out for one another. And the great thing is they hold each other accountable. You know, if they see someone struggling, they'll say, oh, can I help you with that? Look at what their interests are. Maybe about soccer or, or songs. Even though maybe I don't like them, but, <laughs> <laughs> but just to get to know them and they feel like, hey, you know, my teacher cares about me. I'll show at their birthday party and I'll show up at their ball game. Knowing things about me and letting them into my world too makes me more human to them. If I'm going to be pushing for them to be more physically active, then I want to be that there to support them. Just showing that interest in their life so that they know that they can do anything. I'm invested in their lives for a year and I feel that I would like to see them you know, succeed. I love graduation. I clear my whole phone so I can take as many selfies as I can <laughs> <laughs> with all my people. I view my kids as my inspiration. They're my teachers. Yeah, they're my people. They're they're my family. You know, they see you outside of your class, uh, those relationships that you can build with those kids and the blessing to be teacher. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Very good, <laughs> Surprise! Hey! What are you doing? What are you doing here? Oh, I wrote you a letter. Mr. Chan, you are my favorite teacher of all time. There are so many things that you did that were fun in your class. When I first met you, I knew that you were more than just a coach. I, I knew you were going to be a good friend to me. Thank you for understanding and helping me through my tough situations with school, friends, and home. Hi, I wrote a letter for you. Dear Miss Moore, there is no combination of words that could express how thankful I am for you. You have impacted my life. You, the most passionate person that I've ever met. On the first day of school, I walked in and she was four feet tall, but little did I know she had a big personality. Mr. Burkett's gone out of his way for me more times than I could count. I don't know how many times I've made him mad and he still treats me like I'm his son. I enjoy learning from you. I will miss you going to your class. Thank you, Mr. Chan, for being able to be there when I was struggling with outside of school problems. One thing I remember in your class was you telling us that there's no excuse in life, that you should make the best of it. If I were to describe you to a stranger, I'd tell them that you are the embodiment of sunshine. Thank you, Mrs. Carranza, for being you and caring about me as your student. Thank you for, being, for making me a better leader and uh, being someone I can actually look up to. You would be, always be kind to all of us, and I know that you would be a good coach to us. <laughs> you have given me so many gifts, but you, Miss Moore, are the greatest gift of all. Love, Amanda. Love you too. Thank you so much. Love, Ron.
How are you? I'm good. I love you. You know that. Thank you. <laughs> you alright? You, you okay? <laughs> that was an emotional day here in our studio and we can't thank all the teachers in the Springdale schools enough for everything they do. Now personally, I want to send a special thanks to Mr. Travis Sherman for showing me the television production world. Mr. Sherman really taught me last year to always push yourself to do your very best and to always set your bar super high. I would like to thank Ms. Elizabeth Wheeler for being a compassionate and caring teacher not only for me, but for all of her students and getting to know her kids. With Ms. Wheeler, work is held at a high standard, but the students come first in her classroom. In other news, a group, of, a group of SHS alumni that graduated in the 1970s donated a check to Meals on Wheels. Meals on Wheels is an organization that helps elderly people receive food and other items they may need. Paul Abriola brings us the story. My name is Jack Clark with the 70s Reunion Group, where we are a group of SHS Bulldogs that have a reunion each summer from the classes of 70s through 79 at the Elks Lodge of Fayetteville. And the last two years, we've been able to raise enough money to donate money to Meals on Wheels. This year, we have $1,000 to donate to Meals on Wheels, and we're really happy to donate to this group. We feel like we get a big piece out of this. Our parents have used this group, and I can see now that this is a happy group of people. And we're proud to donate to you guys. Jack Clark, chairman of the 70s Reunion Organization, presented a check of $1,000 to Meals on Wheels from the 1970s Springdale High Reunion. Uh, Meals on Wheels is an organization uh, really run by Springdale City Government that uh, supplies meals to uh, the elderly and others that uh, are in need. It is so neat that a graduating class wants to give back to their community and the people that they're giving back to basically paved the way if you're a Springdale resident. You know, they've done the jobs and everything that we have now and they paved the way for us so it's nice for a class to come back and give back to their community. Uh, have camaraderie with other adults, senior adults, and they if you notice out here, they're dancing and playing music and, and singing, and there's a lot going on here, and it's a really good activity for senior citizens to get involved with. Plus, a lot of them have a, a need for the, for the meals, and this also supplies a need for them. According to Lori Proud, it takes $15 a week to feed a homebound senior. Continuing on the theme of giving to the community, we feature a story on a young man from Helston Middle School. Alex Reynolds created a nonprofit organization called Clean Start, and Walmart surprised him with an amazing award. Everybody give Alex a round of applause. Alex created a nonprofit, and he provided materials and supplies for students uh, in a school district uh, where he had previously attended. Um, he saw a need, and he stepped up and, and filled it. I had given five hundred dollar donation to a children's shelter uh, and also a, an abundance of Easter baskets since it was near Easter. And I go around Northwest Arkansas giving hygiene supplies for, to fire departments in case they have a disaster on hand. Walmart came and recognized uh, him as an everyday hero and based upon that they gave him some supplies that, would use, that he could use to further uh, his uh, service to the community. So it was a, a laptop computer and some other supplies as well as some money that they gave um, that will benefit our community. Walmart is a big believer in giving back to the community and we always strive to make sure that our community needs are met. So giving people who are helping in the community a reward and making sure they do that and become lifelong community givers is really important to us as a, as a business. Yeah, helping people and how, how good it felt to go around the community and help people and surprise them enlighten their day. Um, but Alex really, it started all with the school district here, submitting Alex as an everyday hero, and then his story through what he had done this summer and his nonprofit organization is really what made him win.
Alex's program has helped multiple fire departments and families around Springdale with cleaning supplies and other things people will need. Science classes in the Springdale School District have some of the most exciting projects for the students to experiment. Whether it be hands-on or just looking at cool videos with an educational meaning, they are sure to gain something from everything they do. Lakeside Junior High is no exception. They had a hands-on experiment involving Newton's laws of motion. Let's take a look. Are building um, egg cars and we're gonna design or di we're designing a solution to crash it into the wall. I follow a 5e planning process so we first engage our students and then we kind of explore um, the topic before we go in further and explain the instruction and so I believe it gets the students thinking and engaged and excited about learning. We are actually we, we're designing a car um, and we are gonna weigh the car prior to um, crashing it and then when we crash it um, they're gonna measure the reaction um, and so we're looking at Newton's third law, and Newton's third law is action reaction. And so they'll be able to see what happens when objects collide, and, and so on. Like we are building a car out of certain materials, and we have to be able to make a car to protect an egg when it goes up against a wall with force. We are Lakeside. What a great experience for the kids to learn and have fun in the classroom. Speaking of Newton's Laws of Motion, we're moving quickly to our first commercial break, but don't go anywhere. Springdale Today will be right back. Fast Lane Entertainment is a family-friendly establishment that provides 75,000 square feet of wow with a state-of-the-art bowling alley, with arcade games, a two-story laser tag arena, spin zone bumper cars, with 10 party and conference rooms for birthdays and group events. Fastlane has everything you need for family-friendly fun. Find us on Facebook or FastlaneBolt.com. Springdale School District presents Springdale Reads, a grade-by-grade -grade reading initiative to get all Springdale School students reading on grade level by third grade. The project is focusing less on reading instruction and more on actual reading. Students are given 40 to 60 minutes a day set aside just for reading. All throughout the district, it has become a priority for its young students to find the fun in reading. TK Martial Arts, where we are dedicated towards the advancement of martial arts in Northwest Arkansas. Learning MMA, Judo, Jiu Jitsu, team development, and cross discipline affiliation. Join to develop respect, honesty, perseverance, self control, and humility. You can join by coming to any of our classes Monday through Saturday at 207 Commercial Avenue in Lowell, Arkansas. Contact us at 479-365-0783 and make sure to check out our Facebook page. Welcome back. Anna Guyton, a senior at Springdale High School, is keeping herself busy this school year. Bulldog TV takes a look at how she is managing AP classes and being an IP student. Hi, my name is Anna Guyton. Um, I'm in the IB program. I'm also taking AP Art and I'm a senior. Bulldog senior Anna Guyton has been developing her art since an early age. And while her art can be quite demanding, she is also in the International Baccalaureate program. Managing both her art and her IB workload can be quite challenging. But balance is key to make sure neither her art or her IB work become neglected. Balancing those two are really difficult and it's something I'm still learning how to do. But um, I don't know, you have to recognize that art is a priority and that it is valid and that you can take time to make that and it's not a waste of time. Um, and it's just as important as academic work can be. One of the classes Anna is taking this year is AP Art. Ms. Craddock discusses how AP challenges students as individuals and as artists. I feel like AP Art helps students improve their art by providing a lot of rigor and um, within the portfolio they actually create 24 individual pieces of artwork and there's um, some structure to it but in all, it's all student guided and I just think it really helps them improve their student voice and just their ability to make art and be comfortable making art. It's important to focus on ways to prepare yourself for the future, especially as an artist. 
Um, right now I work at Crystal Bridges and I really, really love it there. So hopefully I can get like an art history degree or a curation degree and then I'll be able to work at an art museum. Um, for me, that's a way to like work in the art field and actually like be working and have it like a tangible career without just like being a freelance artist, which is kind of scary. And from Bulldog TV, I'm Jackson. Over this summer, a team from Harbor High School went to Louisville, Kentucky to compete at Skills USA Nationals. And let's just say, not everything is as it seems. Over the summer, Harbor Television went to Louisville, Kentucky to compete for Skills USA Nationals. So uh, my partner, Ramey Tyler, uh, called me one night and he told me that, um, that he was just remembering about nationals and stuff like that. And then he had told me that we actually placed first instead of second at nationals, that it was a miscalculation with the judges. And, you know, we ended up getting first. And, you know, um, I felt so good about it because we worked so hard, um, especially Ramey, Tyler and Sarah Gill. They really worked so hard day and night. They stayed up for a whole day a whole 24 hours working, and I, they just deserved it. They deserved it more than anything. They really worked so hard, and all their hard work did pay off. Skills USA provides students an opportunity for students to connect with professionals in their field. The Skills USA national trip was a great experience. Uh, we got to meet so many uh, popular people, and I actually got to meet the pr assistant producer for The Sandlot, and he helped with High School Musical and a bunch of other big name movies, and he told Sarah and I to continue our passion and he could see us making movies in the long term and we actually got his business card and his contact information and we still keep up with him to this date. Also we get to go back next year because they were so uh, impressed with our pre-production folder that we made that we get to go and host a teacher workshop uh, next year at Nationals to show other teachers how to win and what they need to do to let their students prepare pre-production folders for the real world. For some students, this is just another competition, but to these students, it means much more. I think this one's a little bit more special uh, because of where these students have come from. Um, these students, they struggled a lot throughout high school. Uh, they had some of their own personal issues at home, uh, and this was an outlet for them and a chance at a better life. Uh, and that's, above all else, I think winning an award is great, but if you can provide somebody an opportunity to be successful in life, that's even better. And, and to me, uh, that was the most rewarding thing, is to see that their hard work had paid off and that there's a, there's a better life for them now. Despite the obstacles these Wildcats faced, they managed to put pride and dedication into what they're passionate about. For HPWN, I'm Olivia Stumbaugh. Diego, what was it like placing second and then realizing that there was a mistake in judging? You know, Carter, it was a crazy feeling because I got a call from my partner, Ramey Tyler, saying that there was a miscalculation in the judging and we actually placed first instead of second. So honestly, it was such a, an amazing feeling because Ramey Tyler and Sarah Gill really did deserve it. They worked day in and day out to create such an amazing film and I'm so proud of them. This is the second national award in three years for Harbor Television at Skills USA. And now it's time for News Around the District. I'm Carter Hale and this is News Around the District. Class president heading for graduation with 15 AP courses and recently named National Merit Semifinalist, Pablo Manon is making the most of his time in high school. Some Harp Elementary alumni who now go to Springdale High School decided to go back to their roots and read to several classes at Harp Elementary. Continuing this week with our foreign STEM teachers and professors, they've taken a visit to Harbor High School. They were given a tour of Harbor's resources as well as some time with the students. Lakeside Junior High had its first perfect attendance pep rally Tuesday with 169 students being honored for attending school every day for the first four weeks of the academic year. All the teachers each awarded two of their students with a respect award. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but don't go anywhere because when we come back, we're going to take a look at a student who traveled across the world and learned how to do this. Outstanding customer service, that's the Everett Difference. The best selection you'll find anywhere, that's the Everett Difference. Family owned and operated, that's the Everett Difference. Professionals who put you first, that's the Everett Difference. The best car buying experience we ever had, that's the Everett Difference. Come see us and discover the Everett Difference during Ram Power Days right now at Everett Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Fiat. 
take a fresh look at the Jones Center, the premier place in Northwest Arkansas for year-round ice skating, swimming, basketball, working out, and ice hockey. It's a great place to celebrate business, school, and family events in one of our many spacious meeting rooms. Become an annual member or just come for the day and enjoy our first-class amenities at our state-of-the-art facility that distinguishes it from all others. Only at the Jones Center, serving Northwest Arkansas for over 20 years. It's a place to belong. Welcome back. As we all know, the Springdale Schools has so many talented people, and Brady Billings, an eighth grader from Central Junior High, is a great example. Brady Billings got a once-in-a-lifetime experience to play at Juilliard in Switzerland, and we got an inside scoop as he plays one of his favorite songs. Well, that does it for us at Springdale today, and thank you for watching. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Goodbye, everyone.